Salam students. I hope you all have enjoyed your Diwali vacations. So now let us continue with our studies. Today let us learn a new lesson in geography. Lesson number 7. Our country, India. Children, in this lesson we shall learn about India. That is where it is located. So we shall learn about the locational setting and India's neighbors. We shall also learn about political and administrative divisions and physical divisions. Children, today we shall learn about locational setting of India. Now children, let us begin with the lesson. India is a country of vast geographical expanse. In the north, it is bound by the lofty Himalayas. Children, if you have seen the map of India, you have seen that India, it is a country and it has a vast geographical expanse. And children, what are there in the north? In the north, it is bound by the lofty Himalayas. Children, here you can see the Himalayan range. And the Arabian Sea in the west, the Bay of Bengal in the east, and the Indian Ocean in the south, wash the shores of the Indian Peninsula. Children, what is in the west? The Arabian Sea is in the west. And what is in the east? The Bay of Bengal is in the east. And what is in the south? The Indian Ocean is in the south. So, these all wash the shores of the Indian Peninsula. Children, what do you mean by peninsula? The peninsula is a piece of land that is surrounded by water on three sides. Children, here we can see the Indian Peninsula. It is surrounded on three sides by Arabian Sea, Bay of Bengal, and the Indian Ocean. That is the Indian Peninsula. It is surrounded by water on three sides. So what do you mean by peninsula? Peninsula it means a piece of land that is surrounded by water on three sides. Children do you know what is the area of our country? India has an area of about 3.28 million square kilometers and the north south extent that is from Kashmir to Kanyakumari it is about 3200 kilometers and the east west extent that is from Arunachal Pradesh to Kutch it is about 2900 kilometers so children what is the area of our country the area of our country is about 3.28 3.28 million square kilometers and what is the extent from Kashmir to Kanyakumari it is about 3200 kilometers and what is the extent from east to west that is from Arunachal Pradesh to Kutch it is about 2900 kilometers and children do you know India is the seventh largest country in the world in terms of area. What is the area of India? It is about 3.28 million square kilometers. And children, India has diverse landforms. That is the lofty mountains, the great Indian desert, the northern plains, the uneven plateau surface and the coasts and islands. They all present a diversity of landforms. So children, what are the diverse landforms of India? The lofty mountains, the great Indian desert, the northern plains, the uneven plateau surface and the coast and islands. They are the diverse landforms of India. And children we know that there is a great variety in the climate, vegetation, wildlife as well as in the language and culture. And in this diversity we find unity that is reflected in traditions that bind us as one nation. So children we know that India is a country of diversity that is we have great variety in the climate, vegetation, wildlife as well as we have different languages and cultures. So in this diversity what do we find? We find unity and this is reflected in the traditions that bind us as one nation and children 
India has a population of more than 120 crores since the year 2011 and it is the second most populous country of the world after China. So children, what is the population of India since the year 2011? It is more than 120 crores and it is the second most populous country of the world after China. Now children, let us learn about locational setting. That is, where is India located? India is located in the northern hemisphere. The Tropic of Cancer, that is 23 degrees 30 minutes north, passes almost halfway through the country. So children, if you look at this world map, where is India located? India is located in the northern hemisphere. And what passes almost halfway through the country? The Tropic of Cancer, that is 23 degrees 30 minutes north, it passes almost halfway through the country, that is through India. Children, we have learnt about the north-south extent and east-west extent of India, that is from north to south, it is about 3200 kilometers and from east to west, it is about 2900 kilometers. Now let us see what is the latitudinal and longitudinal extent of India. That is from south to north mainland of India it extends between 8 degrees 4 minutes north and 37 degrees 6 minutes north latitudes. And from west to east India extends between 68 degrees 7 minutes east and 97 degrees 25 minutes east longitudes. So children, in this way we can locate India in the world map. That is from south to north. What is the latitudinal extent of India? It is between 8 degrees 4 minutes north and 37 degrees 6 minutes north latitudes. And from west to east, what is the longitudinal extent of India? It extends between 68 degrees 7 minutes east and 97 degrees 25 minutes east longitudes from west to east. Children, due to great longitudinal extent that is of about 29 degrees, there could be wide differences in local time of places that are located at two extreme points of India. As such, the difference between these two points, it would be of about two hours. Children, we know that the longitudinal extent of India that is from west to east. It is about 68 degrees 7 minutes east and 97 degrees 25 minutes east longitudes. So children, the longitudinal extent of India is 29 degrees which is huge. Hence, there could be wide differences in the local timings that is from Arunachal Pradesh to Kutch. So there will be difference in the local timings. As such, the difference between these two points, it would be of about 2 hours. And children, the local time, it changes by 4 minutes for every 1 degree of longitude. And the sun rises about 2 hours earlier in the east, that is in Arunachal Pradesh, than in the west that is in Gujarat. So, due to great longitudinal extent, the sun rises about 2 hours earlier in Arunachal Pradesh than in Gujarat. And children, for every 1 degree of longitude, by how many minutes the local time changes? The local time, it changes by 4 minutes for every 1 degree of longitude. Children, as you have learnt earlier, the local time, it changes by 4 minutes for every 1 degree of longitude. So, this means that the local time will be different in different places. So, the local time of longitude of 82 degrees 30 minutes east has been taken as the Indian standard time. And this meridian or longitude, it is also termed as the standard meridian of India. 
so children here you can see 82 degrees 30 minutes east that has been taken as the indian standard time so the local time it has been fixed as per the longitude 82 degrees 30 minutes east and what is this meridian or longitude called as it is called as the standard meridian of india so that the time in all the places would be same in our country that is in india and children do you know large countries which stretch extensively from east to west they do not have a single standard time for the whole country the usa and canada they have seven and six time zones respectively so children how many time zones are there in usa there are seven time zones in usa and how many time zones are there in canada there are six time zones in canada that means these large countries they do not have a single standard time for their whole country whereas india has taken the local time of longitude of 82 degrees 30 minutes east as the indian standard time and it is also termed as the standard meridian of india now children let us recap what we have learned today in this lesson children today we learned about india india is a country of vast geographical expanse and in the north it is bound by the lofty himalayas the arabian sea in the west the bay of bengal in the east and the indian ocean in the south and india has an area of about 3.28 million square kilometers the north south extent from kashmir to kanyakumari is about 3200 kilometers and the east west extent from arunachal pradesh to kutch is about 2900 kilometers and india has diverse landforms the lofty mountains the great indian desert the northern plains the uneven plateau and the coast and islands and there is a great variety in the climate vegetation wildlife as well as in the language and culture in this diversity we find unity that is reflected in traditions that bind us as one nation and india has a population of more than 120 crores since the year 2011 and it is the second most populous country of the world after china and we also learned about locational setting india is located in the northern hemisphere the tropic of cancer that is 23 degrees 30 minutes north passes almost halfway through the country and from south to north mainland of india extends between 8 degree 4 minutes north and 37 degrees 6 minutes north latitudes from west to east india extends between 68 degrees 7 minutes east and 97 degrees 25 minutes east longitudes and due to great longitudinal extent of about 29 degrees there could be a wide differences in local time of places located at two extreme points of india as such the difference between these two points would be of two hours and the local time changes by four minutes for every one degree of longitude the sun rises about two hours earlier in the east that is in arunachal pradesh than in the west that is in gujarat so the local time of longitude of 82 degrees 30 minutes east has been taken as the indian standard time this meridian or longitude is also termed as the standard meridian of india now children let's have a quiz multiple choice questions first one india has an area of about dash a 2.28 million square kilometers b 3.28 million square kilometers c 4.28 million square kilometers what is the correct option correct it is b 3.28 million square kilometers india has an area of about 3.28 million square kilometers second one 
the dash is a piece of land that is surrounded by water on three sides a mountains b plateaus c peninsula was the correct option correct it is c peninsula the peninsula is a piece of land that is surrounded by water on three sides third one india is located in the dash hemisphere a northern b southern c western was the correct option correct a northern india is located in the northern hemisphere fourth one india is the dash most populous country of the world after china a second b third c fourth what's the correct option correct a second india is the second most populous country of the world after china fifth one the local time changes by dash minutes for every 1 degree of longitude a 6 b 5 c 4 what's the correct option correct c 4 the local time changes by 4 minutes for every 1 degree of longitude sixth one the latitude that runs almost halfway through india is dash a equator b tropic of cancer c tropic of capricorn was the correct option correct b tropic of cancer the latitude that runs almost halfway through india is tropic of cancer so children today we have learned about the locational setting of our country india we shall learn more about this lesson in our next class till then goodbye children